Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you how to create a maintenance view and display the texts for the keys. The whole thing happens without code and only via foreign key relationships. I am here in the transaction SE11 and I create a table ZTAP country. In this table, I will store the country keys. So I write here a short description. The delivery class is customizing and the table view editing is display maintenance allowed. Then I go to the fields. I write here mandant, the key field. And the next field is land one. It's the key for the countries. So let's change this to country. Enter. Then activate. Okay, we have to pick and package here. The data class is uh, application zero. Size category, the smallest one, zero. And then there's no rating required and we have to type in here in text for the reason. I type here test. So I save this and I go back. Then I click on utilities and table maintenance generator. We need an authorization group. I pick here without authorization group. And then we need a function group. So for this, we open the transaction SE80 and we create a function group. For example, in my set example package, create function group. I pick here the name set tab underscore TM for table maintenance, short text. Click on save. Then we activate the function group. Then we go back to our table and we type here in the created function group. Then the maintenance type, I pick here the two step type. We see we, we need here two screens. And then we click here, no user recording routine. So we don't get a customizing request if we uh, create some entries here. Then we save this and now we can call this uh, table maintenance with the transaction SM30 maintain. And so this is a single column which I can type here the country key, for example, DE for Germany. Click on save. And if we go back, we see here just, the, just the, the, the entry of the key of the country. And now I want to show the name of the country too. So I go back to my, to my created table, set top country. Then I click on display and now we have to set a foreign key relationship. So we click on the uh, field country, then on this icon here, foreign keys. Then we create a proposal with the values of T005 because this is the table where are the countries are stored and some uh, attributes of the country. So we click OK. So now we have created this foreign key relationship and then we open the transaction SE11 again, or here we are already in. And now we create a view. I add here an underscore V and create a maintenance view. Then I type here my table, set top country. And the short description is mandatory. And this is important. You have to click on the table and then you have to click on the button relationship here. And we see here the reference table is T005. Now the joints are built. And so let's open the table T005. If we find here the, uh, the name of the country, we see here some columns, some attributes, but no text, no name of the country. 
Why not? Because the name is stored in the table T005T for text. And if we browse this data, for example, here we see uh, the name of the, the country is in the column land X. So we have to do another join. We go back in our view, we click on the entry T005 and then on the button relationships again. And here we have to search for the table T005T for the text table and we click on copy. Then we have another joins here. This is good. So we can click on the tab view fields. And here we see the, the fields mandant and country. And here we add a field called country name. And this name is stored in the table T005T. And the field is called land X. Enter. And now we can uh, activate this view. We don't need select conditions and the maintenance status is okay. So we can activate this view. Okay, my package. And now we can call the table maintenance generator. Now we pick the maintenance type uh, one step. First, we type in the authorization group and the function group. Then we click here on one step, click on find screen numbers. Okay, screen number is three and then we click on create. We save this then we can call this maintenance view with the transaction SM30. We click on maintain and now we can add new entries. We type here the key of the country and we see the name of the country is fetched immediately. So we can save this. Okay, now we have a transport request. I don't want this. So we close this window and we go back to the table maintenance generator. No. Utilities table maintenance generator and here we pick no or user recording routine. So no customizing transport request will be created if we add some entries. So we check this again, we click on maintain, click on new entries, type in some countries, we see the names are immediately fetched. And this is pretty nice. But I want to set the column name as read only because I don't want to change here the names. So we open the transaction as um, SE80. We know that our screen number is the number three. So we go to the function group, set up table maintenance, screen three, double click, then we click on layout. And here we can change the screen. So double click on this field, we can change the name, we can change the column name, we can change the width of the columns. You have to click in one cell and then you can uh, change the width, for example. So let's do this and now set this name column to read only. For this, click on the tab uh, program and uncheck the input field. Then activate the changes and close the window. Then we call the transaction SM30 again and we click on the button maintain. And now let's check this. We see the name column is read only. Click on new entries. We uh, insert another country we see. It's read only, we can save it, go back. And yes, this is a pretty nice way to maintain your entries and to read the 
texts. Um, this is a significant relief for people who maintain customized entries as they do not have to work with keys alone, but the text for the key is also displayed. This also improves the quality of the entries. Yes, so if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'm always happy to get a few likes. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them and I also reply to them. Take care and see you in the next video.